Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. First of all, I'd like to thank all every single one of you because I have recently reached 1,000 subscribers. Really, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Secondly, as some of you might have known, I've been taking a break for a while because I was working on something for the channel and that thing is a new intro for my video, which you can see in a second. I've also got my friend Xander to work on the music for it, so I'm really excited to show you guys. Here we go. <laughs> In this tutorial today, we're gonna learn how to do hand-drawn effect on After Effects. If you're like me, you do most of your work on After Effects, but you want to achieve that organic hand-drawn look for your project without having to do the traditional frame-by-frame -frame animation, then this tutorial is for you. Alright, so I have my composition here and as you see, I've got lots of layers. I've made this project file available for you to download and you can download it in the link that I put in the description below. So here I have like my text, which I've already animated inside this precom, and then I've got a bunch of like waves and other objects like triangles, stars, and also animated lines. Before we apply the hand-drawn effect, I want to show you how to turn um, these objects into scribbles. So the ones that we're going to turn to scribbles are just like the stars, the triangle, and the waves. So basically, look for scribble effect. And then we're going to start maybe with this pink wave, which is this one. Just drop that onto that layer. And the thing is, when we drop into that wave object, um, it doesn't work because the wave warp is before the scribble. So what you want to do is to put the wave warp after the scribble. So we got that. Now, I want to change the color of the scribble. So I have my color palette here. So I'm going to change it to this pink color. And then it just works like that. Now, with scribble, we can also adjust like the stroke and just the look of the scribble itself. So, for example, stroke width, we can just like make it um, thicker or like thinner. And then under the stroke options, we can also adjust the curviness of the um, scribble, but I'll just, I'll just leave it to five. And then also the spacing between the lines. So just kind of like if you want to make it more sparse or like make it more dense, it's all up to you. You can also adjust the spacing variation, so it's just kind of like varies throughout the objects as well as the curviness variation. So I might actually adjust that a little bit, maybe something like that. And that's pretty much it for the basic scribble. You can also like play around with the fill type. So at the moment, the scribble just kind of like fill up the shape of the object. You can also change it to center edge, for example, and it just kind of like scribble the edge of your object so i'm just gonna leave it at that um oh actually i'm just gonna leave it inside now i'm gonna copy the scribble and just kind of like paste it for all of the objects not the line just like the objects so the stars waves and the triangle just paste it and also this one as well so obviously again for the wave you have to move the wave warp underneath the scribble so like that, and also like that. Now for this one, I'm going to change the color to yellow. And I'm actually going to change the fill type to center edge for that one. And then this one, I'm going to change it to blue. Just going to leave it as fill type. And the triangles, I am going to just use black. And the stars, leave it as pink. And this one... I want it to be yellow. This one is the light pink. Alright, so we're done with the scribbles. Now, we want to apply an actually hand-drawn effect over all of this composition, especially to make these lines, like the type lines and the line animation, look like they're kind of like organic. So you want to create adjustment layer. And then name that hand drawn effect and just make sure you put the adjustment layer on top of everything now in your effects and presets look for turbulent displays drop that on the adjustment layer 
And basically what we want to achieve here is we want to achieve what we call as boil. So boil is basically the wobble of hand-drawn lines. This is usually achieved when you do frame by frame animation because you know when you draw frame by frame the thickness of the line and the shape of every frame you draw won't be 100% consistent. The first thing you want to do is to change the amount to like very little. I'm going to change it to 2 and then the size maybe like 50 and then under evolution options we want to create an expression so hold on alt and click on the stopwatch icon and then we want to type in time um, let's try 500 for now now let's have a look you know if we change the amount it's just kind of like add the distortion of the object so i'm gonna maybe i'll try four for now and then the size is basically just like the size of the distortion so i'm gonna change that to two now i'm just gonna solo this so that we sorry solo this and solo the text so we just focus on the text itself you see that it kind of like um jitters so that's actually the kind of effect that we want but i feel like it's just too much jitter so i'm just gonna turn down the size to 20 and see how it looks so we already have like that kind of like jittery organic look but we want to add more texture to it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna like duplicate the table in this place and this time this second table in this place is gonna be for texture so i'm gonna just hit enter on that and i rename this to texture and the other one rename this to boil and on this we wanna have the amount to be big so i'm gonna type 50 and the size to be small so basically what it does it just creates that kind of like greedy texture to the lines which i want and then yeah you can just like play around with the amounts and to achieve the look that you want all right i'm pretty happy with that now the last thing you want to do is to add posterize time so posterize time, I've been using this for my previous tutorials as well and I just really like the effect that it gives because it basically just makes your animation look like as if it's kind of like done in the traditional style. So I want to change the frame rate to 12 because that's basically what the traditional animation usually use. There you go, that you have your hand-drawn looking effect now so i'm gonna unsolo this and let's have a look how it affects the whole project all right there you go you have your hand-drawn style effect applied to your project so basically you can just apply that to any project that you want thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoy this if you have any comments or suggestions please leave it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.